Welcome! Today we're going to pull a card for July 28th, 2021 and we're going to pull it from this beautiful Chakra Oracle deck which is very colorful, very nice. What's our daily card for the collective for July 28th, please? Thank you. We've got recovery. Recovery. So let me read from the booklet what it says about recovery here. Let me see, where is recovery? There we go. Okay, it says, pain from our past unlocks the door of understanding. The legend, Greta wakes to find painful childhood memories all around her room. In the distance appears a huge wooden door with white light streaming through the keyhole. As Greta tries to gather up her painful memories, they melt and form the great lilac key. The places the key, she places the key in the lock and a wave of fear engulfs her. The door opens and the pain and fear recede. Clarity comes, survival is no longer enough. The inspiration is, once the key has been used to open the door, you will have a new way of living, one without keys. Where you are heading, there are no locks. The personal inquiry is, it is time to recover a part of me that has been dormant. Am I ready to live an inspired future? The key ideas are facing fears, wounding is strength, courage to face the pain and awakening greatness. The key words are geniusness, regeneration and understanding. The meditation is imagine standing outside a door holding a string of keys. Each one is a different chakra color. A key calls out to you. Visualize opening the door with your key. Let the light from the other side wash over you as you enter. Is the light a particular color? What is this journey about for you? So we get a beautiful vision here, a beautiful vis visualization actually of how we can heal past trauma. So my personal favorite method is every time I tear up because of a bad memory from the past, I give it to Mother Earth. I ask Mother Earth, would you please take this pain and carry it for me so that I don't have to carry it alone? That's my personal picture, which gives me a little bit of lightness when I think of these past memories. So what is it for you? What is your personal key? What do you do with when the pain arises? Some people actually treat it like a person. They say, thank you, pain for visiting me it's very nice to see you again but now you may leave things like this so there are different ways and coping mechanisms to really go into healing yourself and how you deal with the past especially now that we're living in a time collectively where we are all going through past trauma and we get additional trauma from our now time from our present right so um, this is a huge opportunity for us to find the greatness inside because underneath trauma and fear there is always some form of genius yeah just imagine for example let's take amy winehouse because recently was the anniversary of her of her death so she was a typical example she took all of the pain of her past experiences and she turned it into beautiful music yeah so this is our personal key to to take this negativity and turn it into something really beautiful you know for example uh, you could also take this example. If some, if some people throw rocks at you in a metaphorical way, then you could take these rocks and build a fortress out of it, you know? So these are the, the mental pictures I wanna give you here so that you can transform pain into something beautiful. So I hope this was a help for you. If so, leave a like and I see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here, bye.